On Sunday, March 27th at 4.25 p.m., Cape Coral Police responded to a robbery call at the public supermarket at 127 Cape Coral Parkway West. The Brinks security guard was exiting the store with the deposit bags when he was approached by a man armed with a taser. Police say the man in the upper right corner of this video is the person who assaulted an armored transport employee with a taser and stole money he was carrying for Publix. The man is seen here outside the Cape Coral Publix pretending to be interested in items on the sidewalk. Secretly, he's waiting on the cash that's about to walk out the door. The suspect tased the guard in the neck, which momentarily stunned him and caused him to drop the bags. The suspect then retrieved the money bags and fled on foot where he got into a waiting SUV, which is described as a black Cadillac Escalade. He appears to be in cell phone communication with someone, probably the driver of the getaway vehicle. Notice what he's wearing, his mannerisms, how he moves. These are details that could help you identify this criminal. It's very difficult to make out his face, and we understand that, and we ask you not to concentrate too hard on the face. More importantly, we would like you to watch his mannerisms, the way he stands, the way he moves about, because this may jar your memory as someone you may recognize. He leans, um, shuffles back and forth, and gives a good couple of minutes of mannerisms for you to observe. Now, here comes the armored truck employee. The suspect hesitates for a moment and then follows him. Just outside the view of this camera, the suspect pulls out a taser, sticks it to the employee's neck, and pulls the trigger. He then steals the money bags from the unconscious employee. Customers react to the sight. Another employee from the truck dashes inside for help. The city of Cape Coral, they're very rare. This is the first one that we've had in Southwest Florida. There have been uh, very few, although there have been some. Uh, we've had bank robberies here in the Cape, but nothing this, uh, this brazen and, and nothing of this sort. If you have any information on this crook, contact Crime Stoppers today. Your tip could earn you a $1,000 reward. You are a victim of crime. When criminals strike, we all pay. It's time to strike back. This is Crooks on TV. Raw surveillance images of crimes committed in Lee County. See the crimes. Catch the crooks. Earn the reward. Watch crooks. Starting now. This is crooks. This next case is one that just really makes you sick. This is a case where a man and a woman came into a store and they have two children with them and they have already planned on committing this theft. A woman, a man, and two small children enter a Walgreens in Fort Myers after 10 p.m. The woman and children pass by the perfume counter. Later, the woman comes back to the counter, licks her fingers, reaches over, and takes a Walgreens shopping bag. She stuffs the bag into her pocket. Somehow or another, the uh, cabinet to the perfume case opens. Not really sure how that happens, but one of the clerks in the store realizes there's something going on because the female has managed to take a bunch of cologne and stuff it into a bag. Notice the lower right corner of the screen. The perfume case is open. A hand reaches into the case and grabs bottle after bottle of perfume.
when an attendant enters the perfume counter, the woman's accomplice, the man who entered the store with her, distracts the attendant. But a few seconds later, the attendant senses something is wrong and leaves the counter. Her accomplice and the smallest child follow. Here, the woman leaves the store in a big hurry, followed by the older child. Eventually, the attendant runs to the door in pursuit. Then the accomplice nonchalantly exits the store with the smaller child running to catch up. Let's take another look at her departure. Notice how full this bag seems to be. Watch her flee as quickly as possible. They leave the parking lot in a dark, what they think might be a town car, a Lincoln town car, burgundy in color. And, uh, but what really makes this just so repulsive is them committing this theft with their children with them. And they stole over $900 worth of colognes from a Walgreens. If you have any information about these scented suspects, remember one thing. Your anonymous tip could earn you $1,000. Call Crime Stoppers now. Having a little trouble with your garage door? Okay, so Clopay doors might not be able to win a fight with a car, but they can stand up against a hurricane and do it with style and grace. Hi, I'm George Ebel. Take advantage of Clopay's Save Green in the Spring with rebates up to $150 per door. Call today, beautify your home, and save money at the Save Green in the Spring event going on now. Our doors are in stock for immediate installation. See our showroom today. Hi, I'm Bob Germain, and if you're thinking about buying a new car, maybe you should think about buying a nearly new car instead. Because at Germain Auto Advantage, we sell nearly new cars for nearly half price. Choose from our hand-picked selection of low mileage, extra clean local trade-ins. Nearly new and nearly 50% off the original MSRP. Plus, get a full year of free maintenance, a warranty, and low finance rates. Nearly new cars at nearly half price. Right now, Germain Auto Advantage on Colonial Boulevard in Fort Myers. You're watching Crooks. This segment of Crooks is sponsored by Action Automatic Door and Gate, the home of the talking door. Next, how did this man steal a flat screen TV from Walmart? Lee County experienced over 6,200 traffic crashes. I'm Dominic Valentine of the law firm of Lustre, Sites, Tulisano and Smith. Some of these accidents involved uninsured motorists. Does your insurance protect you in this case? Does your plan allow enough coverage for lost wages and medical bills if you've been severely injured? If you've been injured in an accident, give us a call seven days a week. We can answer those questions. The initial personal injury consultation is free. Lustre Sites, Tulisano and Smith, your local attorneys in Southwest Florida for over 20 years. When Harley Cooper holds in a 200-year-old treasure map, Summer Vacation explodes into a quest for pirate gold. A mysterious hermit holds the clues. You gotta think like a pirate, kid. Mother Nature holds the cards. But will Harley ever hold the gold? Read The Last Pirate, a novel, in stores, on Amazon, or visit thelastpirate.net. It's pretty obvious that this person had decided what they were going to do before they ever went into the store. It's a wider Hispanic male, walked into the store, got a shopping cart, went to the electronics section, uh, picked out a TV, got on the phone, talked to somebody, and at some point removed the TV from the shelf and took the TV back to the garden area.
when he went to the garden area, he hit the push bar, which set off the alarm. And uh, there were some employees that went running after him, but they did not catch him. Uh, one of the things that they were able to capture was a uh, dark Ford Explorer that was out in the parking lot. So there were uh, accomplices out there. Somebody had actually opened up the back of the, the Explorer and it was ready and waiting for him. So this was something that had been planned long before he showed up at that store. And it was one of those uh, 42 inch flat screen TVs. So it was a pricey theft. received information that a vehicle had been broken into. We reviewed um, some surveillance video that they had at the front of the building. An employee had come in, parked for work. While he was at work, another vehicle pulls into the parking lot behind the victim's vehicle. The suspect actually gets out of his car, puts the hood up on his own vehicle, making it look like the vehicle had been broken down, goes to our victim's vehicle, smashes the passenger side window, reaches inside, takes a couple of electronic items, closes the hood on his car, and then exits the parking lot. The suspect's car looks like a mid-80s, mid to late 80s, either Honda Civic or Honda Prelude. It has um, the old pop-up style headlights. The driver's side headlight actually does not retract back into the vehicle. It's a faded red or burgundy colored car, four doors. He fabricated having car trouble to stop the view from the main road from Ortez. I mean, there's vehicles driving by as he's committing this crime. On the night of December 6, 2010, two masked burglars robbed J&J Performance in the North Industrial Park in Cape Coral. The next day, owners of the auto shop noticed that their air compressor had vanished. They called Cape Coral Police. And our officers got there and were reviewing surveillance video of the business with the owner. Um, this particular case, there was a large uh, air compressor taken from the business, uh, the large, uh, about six foot tall tank style and the suspects put it on a, on a hand truck. They took their time. Uh, in reviewing the, the video, we realized that a week prior, the same or similar looking suspects had stolen uh, high performance auto parts from the business as well. And in that particular theft um, captured on video, we were able to get a decent view of the suspects. It turns out that these same individuals had hit the shop before. During the evening hours of November 28, 2010, the men are seen on this surveillance video as they case the equipment they plan to steal. Let's play that footage once more. Freeze it right there. See the tattoo? And if you look closely, you'll notice the shoes are the same when they return the following night in disguise. One of them spots the security camera and they leave. But the next night, they return in camo jackets and bandanas and take the auto parts. One week later, they come back again to steal the 80-gallon, 5-horsepower air compressor. If you recognize any crook in this show, call or email your anonymous tip to Crime Stoppers. You could earn a $1,000 reward if your tip leads to an arrest. You're watching Crooks.
the suspect entered the store, uh, was wearing a ski mask, had a hooded sweatshirt, the hood was up over his head, he was wearing gloves, dark colored pants and dark colored shoes, armed with a black and color semi-automatic handgun. Walked right up to the pharmacy counter, hopped the counter in an athletic mode, pointed a gun right at the pharmacist, uh, walked him right over to prescription drugs, Oxycontin, were uh, stored. He got away with seven bottles of uh, various um, milligrams, totaling about $5,800. Hopped the counter and walked right out of the store. Our witnesses saw him get on a bicycle and leave the parking lot right on a bicycle and go eastbound on Southeast 48th Terrace right from that Walgreens. On Monday morning, March 14th, 2011, shortly before 10 o'clock, this masked gunman enters a Walgreens at the intersection of Cape Coral Parkway and Chiquita Boulevard in Cape Coral. The bandit bypassed the cash register, making a beeline for the pharmacy in the back of the store. The customer at the counter decides it's best to back away. Other customers in the store are unaware there is a robbery in progress. Now, here comes the customer from the pharmacy counter. She alerts the store employees and hurries out the door. Uh, it looked like a Glock type pistol, uh, semi-automatic, uh, not a revolver. His hands, by the way, he was wearing gloves. Uh, similar to a uh, baseball batting glove or a football uh, receiver glove. Looked to be lighter, like white in color. At one point uh, during the video, you'll see where he's hopping the counter and you can clearly make out that it's an athletic type of uh, maybe a basketball shoe. And we're hoping that somebody can identify that. Witnesses recall seeing the man riding a dark colored men's bicycle around the store's parking lot at least two hours prior to the crime. There were two separate witness accounts that saw this guy almost casing the place or getting up the nerve to commit the crime, one at 8 a.m. and one again at 9.45 a.m. So a good amount of time, this guy was, was in the area, riding around, kind of getting up the nerve. And we believe more than two people may have, may have saw this guy. It's a busy intersection, on Monday morning, it's a busy time. And we're hoping that somebody saw this guy without his mask on, on that bicycle and would recognize him or, or recognize anything in the video. While a daylight armed robbery of a pharmacy is rare in Cape Coral, crimes involving prescription drugs are on the increase. If you have information that may help solve one, contact Crime Stoppers now. Your tip could earn you a $1,000 reward. Why do so many people come to Southwest Florida? It could be the boating. And if you like boating in Southwest Florida, you'll love the Nautical Mile, your free connection to Lee County's marine community. Get your free Nautical Mile every month in almost 200 locations. Thousands of local boaters use the Nautical Mile exclusively to find what they need. Plus, the latest information on fishing, boating, and local marine news. Every Sunday, we bring the Nautical Mile to life on the avenue. Tune in Sunday mornings, 8 to 10 on AM 1410 and 1660 for Nautical Mile Radio. The Nautical Mile, your connection to Lee County's marine community. Hi, I'm an attorney, not a spokesperson. Surprised? Sometimes people are surprised when they hire a law firm and find out a legal assistant is handling their case. That doesn't happen at Lusk Dreisaitz Tolisano and Smith. You can call us and speak to a personal injury attorney 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that's a free consultation. So if you have any questions regarding your personal injury case, call us today. We'll be happy to talk. Lusk Dreisaitz Tolisano and Smith, This segment of Crooks is sponsored by The Nautical Mile, your connection to Lee County's marine community. You're watching Crooks. Hi, I'm Bob Germain, and if you're thinking about buying a new car, maybe you should think about buying a nearly new car instead. Because at Germain Auto Advantage, we sell nearly new cars for nearly half price. Choose from our hand-picked selection of low mileage, extra clean local trade-ins. Nearly new and nearly 50% off the original MSRP. Plus get a full year of free maintenance, a warranty, and low finance rates. Nearly new cars at nearly half price. Right now, Germain Auto Advantage on Colonial Boulevard in Fort Myers. Thanks. <laughs> 
Uh, we have a man who decided to go fishing for the day. Unfortunately, he made the mistake of leaving his vehicle unlocked and he left his wallet in the console. And it wasn't until a couple of days later that he discovered that there were multiple charges on his credit card. And um, what happened, the detective was able to track down those charges and uh, was able to obtain some video from a Publix. As the victim fishes in the bay, thieves used his credit card to purchase gift cards at Publix. Apparently, the criminals passed the credit card around. Purchases were made by two different individuals. The credit card was actually used at about four different locations, um, but there was over $100 purchased at a Publix, and then just 13 minutes later, there was over $200 purchased at that same Publix. And there was surveillance video that was captured, and in that surveillance video, you, it appears as if there are two different people involved. So it's almost as if they're passing this card along until uh, somebody, it, it quits working on somebody, who knows what they're waiting for. But they were able to get quite a bit of use of several hundred dollars worth of purchases that were made on it. The individuals that, that took this card knew that they could get some gift cards and utilize those and not have to utilize that credit card. So the people that may be able to help us with this to find these crooks will be somebody that sees their friends or uh, acquaintances using a lot of gift cards. That might lead us directly to them. They might be able to match them up with the images that they see on the uh, Publix video and the fact that they are using the gift cards. Any leads that we can get on this would be helpful. If you have information that could lead to the arrest of one of these criminals, contact Crime Stoppers. You could earn a reward of $1,000. Hi, I'm George Abel with great news from Action Automatic Door and Gate. Our spring cleaning sale is underway. Get rid of that tired old garage door opener and install a brand new LiftMaster opener for just $2.99, and that includes installation. You'll enjoy LiftMaster's ultra quiet and dependable performance, and for a limited time, you can enjoy the low sale price of just $2.99. So sweep up one of these great deals. Call or visit a showroom today. When you want it done the right way, Action Automatic Door and Gate. Home of the talking door. You're watching Crooks, next. Uh, the video clearly shows them taking the stuffing out of these very expensive purses, and um, the gentleman stuffs the three purses into his britches. When Harley Cooper holds in a 200-year-old treasure map, summer vacation explodes into a quest for pirate gold. A mysterious hermit holds the clues. You gotta think like a pirate, kid. Mother Nature holds the cards. But will Harley ever hold the gold? Read The Last Pirate, a novel, in stores, on Amazon, or visit thelastpirate.net. Now in this particular case, we have a male and a female. We have the male in there, he's the thief. The female is a diversion. This is very interesting because these individuals managed to go into the store. Uh, the video clearly shows them taking the stuffing out of these very expensive purses. And um, the gentleman stuffs the three purses into his britches and uh, they end up leaving the store with three purses. The, the cheapest one, I believe, was $119 and the most expensive one was $190. Using his female accomplice as a diversion, the man stuffs a number of designer purses into his pants. If you go to a flea market or something, you might not want to buy a coach purchase there because you have no idea where they've been or where they've come from, so be careful. It's a buyer beware market, and uh, they need, people always need to be on guard when they're buying anything like that.
On our website, uh, capecops.com, we have a tutorial to show you how to uh, send us a tip directly um, from a text. And you can do that on any uh, standard phone, uh, smartphone, and it's very easy to do. Tips may be submitted to the Cape Coral Police Department in a variety of ways. First, a web tip form is waiting right on the website. This form allows you to enter different information about the crime and send your anonymous tip to Cape Police. Have an iPhone or iPad? There's an app for submitting tips that you can download for free and keep on your mobile device in case the need arises. To use the texting service, simply send a text to C-R-I-M-E-S or CRIMES. The corresponding numbers are 274637. Be sure to include the letters CCPD before you type in your tip. The text goes to a third party who then routes your crime tip to the Cape Coral Police Department. The Cape Cops website also has the capability for you to upload photos that might help police solve a crime. This feature is located on the web tip form. And it's just a way for us to reach out to the community in the, the venue and the form that people uh, communicate today. It makes it easier, especially for younger, um, younger people and people in school. That's, that's the language. That's the way people communicate now is through text. And we want to be able to do that. We don't want to shut off any information that we could potentially get. So we're asking people, if you have information, please send us a text. It will be anonymous, and uh, you'd be helping out. Now let's recap this week's crooks. Look these pictures over carefully. An anonymous tip from you could lead to an arrest, and that arrest could put $1,000 in your pocket and put a crook in jail. Thanks to a tip received by Crime Stoppers, this crook has been arrested. To watch past episodes, visit crooksontv.com. Click the Episodes button and watch for free. Want to catch a crook? Watch Crooks on TV each week, same time, same place. This has been Crooks on TV. When Harley Cooper holds in a 200-year-old treasure map, summer vacation explodes into a quest for pirate gold. Read The Last Pirate, a novel by Wilson Hawthorne. In stores, on Amazon, or visit thelastpirate.net.